Hi, I'm Claire Wasey and I'm a personal stylist and today I'm going to give you some great style tips. For anything you don't find in these videos, go to my website and check out all the tips I have there. Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about how to dress gothic or how to dress goth. It's a really particular fashion tribe that dress in, in the gothic way and it comes from lots of different elements in history but specifically Victoriana and it has a slightly sexual undertone to it. So there's lots of lace, lots of sheer, lots of corsetry that makes the look really, really gothic and slightly haunting. So first off, on the mannequin, I've got this fabulous velvet dress. Now, you can buy into the goth look on the high street, but also you can go to slightly more specialist places, for example, in Camden. But this one's just straight off the high street. It's a velvet dress, so it's nice and clingy, and you can really accentuate your figure. But it's got this fantastic sheer sleeve, which adds that element of Victoriana to it. And then you would add a, something a little bit more statement. So I've gone for this accessory, which is a great little hat with a veil, which again adds that Victoriana sort of feel to it, but it's very gothic and it really finishes off a look. The important thing when you're wearing a goth look is to make sure that the whole look is completely nutty, top to toe goth. So you want to make sure that your hair is really, really dark. I mean, usually it's dyed completely black or has like slight elements of color in it nice and long or really kind of bouffant hair so it looks slightly eerie and slightly unusual. Then you want to take the black makeup into the look. So you want to have really black eye makeup, black or purple lipstick, so the really dark plummy colours and it kind of adds that to the paleness of the skin as well. So you can pale out your skin more but if you add that black makeup it will make your skin look more pale. I've chosen the velvet and, and the chiffon just to show you that really the great way to dress a goth look is to add lots of different textures together, so really mix and match your textures. So I've gone with velvet and chiffon over here with a little bit of um, lace as well. Or you can go for a really, really simplistic lace dress, but then what you want to add to that is to add a slightly more gothic feel, so you want to keep layering different textures on it. So what I'd add is I'd add a black leather jacket just to kind of add a different texture in there, then go for a really chunky DM boot or something really, really dark and heavy on the bottom just to make this lace less feminine and floaty and much more gothic and edgy. Another way of um, dressing in the gothic style is to uh, actually use white lace. So what you can do is you add white lace to all of your black accessories. So you could lay it underneath this dress with a long sleeve black t-shirt, put black tights on. You could go for a, a black fishnet. And then what you would do is you'd layer over the top of it. Again, you could do it with the leather jacket or you can add sheer tops over the top. So you've got a white lace um, skirt with this over the top but you see the white lace coming through. It's a fantastic way of using that layering technique to create a really great gothic look. When you are dressing gothic it does become slightly more sexy so it's really good to like look at different ways of texturing and making it more sexy and showing off your waist. This is a really great way of doing it. You could have a lace top for example, something like this with the skirt, but the panel on the skirt really cinches you in at the waist, which means that it's much more sexy and it shows a more sexy silhouette. Or you can use, over the top of dresses like this, you could use a corsetry top. So this is a corseted top that then you can pop on over the top of a lace dress to really cinch in your waist and exaggerate your figure um, and then go for really, again, a chunky boot and keep everything black and tonal so that you're just layering on, upon layer of different blacks, different textures, lace, sheer, you name it, you kind of pile it on to create a really layered look. When you're thinking about accessories, make sure that you go for slightly chunkier accessories. So you could go for, for example, a really strong choker necklace, but then layer on top of that really thick chains, crosses, anything that's slightly religious connotation works really, really well with this look. For more examples of how to dress in a gothic style, check out these pictures and follow the style tips. 